In this math test, we're going to draw a slider with values from 0 degrees to 180 degrees and an angle whose size matches the slider. Let's make a few preparational things. We'll go to Options and we'll change the right angle sty style from US to non-US. We'll go to Options, we'll turn off Labeling. We'll go to Options and for the purpose of this video, we'll make it a bigger font, 16. Now you can save those settings if you want and they will be there next time you open it. Now we want to move the axes off or we could right click and turn them off but we're just going to move them over here to the side so they're not bothering us here. Okay we're ready to start our construction and now we click on the slider icon, click somewhere up here, slider dialog box opens can be a number or an angle. If we choose angle, we automatically get degrees. If you choose number and go from 300 to 360, you must then add the degree when you define the angle. So here we're going to choose angle and see that there's degrees there. It already names it alpha. If we wanted to name it something else, we use the drop down menu or we just type in the name that we want. Let's say that we want our slider to go from 0 to 180 degrees. You cannot erase that degree sign. You have to have 180. If you accidentally erase the degree sign, just hit enter. It'll revert to 360 degrees and you can try it again. Now, I have found that the width must be a multiple. Just for the fun of it, we're going to put 90 here. That's 90 and we're going to apply and we'll see that we'll get only the even number ones easily coming up. So you see that they're only even numbers, right? So we're going to right click on the point, go to properties, slider, and make it 180. That now we'll be able to get all of the numbers, right, from 0 to 180. We leave it at 60. Now we want an angle whose size matches the slider. So we don't want the three point angle. We click here and we get angle with given size and we need to put in two points which will form the base of the angle. The first point is the right point, then comes the vertex, then it will ask us what we want. We mark off the 45 and remember because alpha already has the degrees in it, we don't have to worry about degrees here, we click on alpha. And see the 60 there? And let's check it. Click on the move icon and we see that the angle changes. Let's put rays in. You can put rays or line segments depending on where you live. So we're going to put rays. Start at the vertex click, other point click. Vertex click, make sure they glow before you click. Click. Now we really don't want to see these points. If we cannot delete them, we can only hide them. So, so right click and deselect show object. Don't delete. Right click and deselect show object. Now how do you move the angle around? You click on the move button and you move to the base, click and drag. Or you can use this to rotate your angle. Finally, decoration things. Let's say we want this to be bigger so that the 60 degrees fits in there. Right click, go down to properties, uh, style. I usually, it's the size that changes that. So. I usually move it to about 60, depends on how big you want it to be. We can change the color, currently it's green, let's say we change it to teal just for fun. And we can change the decoration depending on whether you want congruent angles or this. So let's change this to the arrow marking. Anything else we want? And we can decide whether we want the value to show or not show by clicking here. Close. So let's check that everything works. Mm -hmm. And a few tricks about the slider. Sometimes what happens is the, the student doesn't quite hit the button so the slider starts to move and that's really annoying. So what you do is you put the slider where you want it to be. Right click always on the slider button. That works whether it's fixed or not. Go down to properties and slider and choose fixed. Now. Uh, we can go to color again and change it to be this color 
and we can thicken up the line so it's easier to see. And there we have our slider like we wanted it. And that's how to create a slider and an angle that matches that.